Hey everybody, Nukeviz here, and I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Shovel Knight. In the last episode, we fought another member of the Order of No Quarter Plague Knight inside the Explodatorium. In this episode, we're going to explore some things that we can do in the village and head over to that new armor post. Well, things we can do in the village is I actually didn't cover some NPCs that we can talk to when their dialogue changes when you clear. But first, let's talk to the good old bard. Whoa, you have three music sheets! Magnificent! You, will you take 500 gold for each? Wonderful! Let's see here. Oh, you found the vital vitriol. I was feeling uninspired until Plague Knight threw some kind of potion in my face. When I awoke, when I woke up, the song was somehow finished. Now that I have this music sheet, I can perform for you anytime. Just ask. So, Plague Knight drugged you? Alright, so we can go to the goat here and grab a meal ticket, so I don't see why not. We have quite a bit of gold that we can use here. But by buying that 6,000 meal ticket, thanks for buying my meal tickets, I'm all out now. Had more, but they became meals before I arrived. That's right, that was the last meal ticket that we can buy. Let's see what this meal is. I think last time we had a grilled cheese sandwich. This time it's a mm, dragon tail? Mm, no. Whatever it is, it gives us a point of health. Now, we could buy another magic upgrade, but I think we're gonna hold on to the gold that we have for now, just because we're gonna need some of that for the armor outpost. But heading down here, we remember this nice chap was talking about how King Knight took over Pridemore. King Knight reigns no more! Huzzah! Now I can rule Pride more! Hurrah! I can't wait to greet old Plume and Beaky! They probably can't wait to see me! Oh no... Those were the Griffins, weren't they? Okay... Now, back here, we do have this Tropal Alkali, and I did mention once in a different episode that you can come back to Chester. If you didn't have an item, if you didn't grab the item in the stage, he would sell them to you at a premium. But I'm gonna just tell you what these prices are now. So if you did not grab the Flare Wand in King Knight's stage, he would have sold it for 2,000 here. The Phase Locket would have been 2,000, and then the Alchemy Coin would have been 3,500. So it's always a good idea to get those out inside their stages instead of out. That way you can just make sure that you get it for the cheapest price manual. But we got this guy here, Croker. Hey, Shovel Knight, I know things are tough, but don't throw in the trowel. <sighs> Psh, that King Knight, you give him an inch and he'll think he's a ruler. <sighs> I've traveled with some horse adventures, but they were all so negative. Yeah, okay, we're done with this guy. There is an achievement to listen to all of his puns. And that's basically everything that we can do in the village for now. Just grab that meal ticket, talk to Chester, talk to him. You can always go back and play Mona's Bottle Toss, but the only point is to get the music sheet. But let's head on. As we can see here, we do have a character on the map, so I think we should visit them and see what's going on here. North from Pridemore, west at the Fork. Oh, bother, I must have passed it already. Well met, Traveler! Oi, maybe you can help me. I think I got lost. I was trying to... Wait a second, you're the knight with a shovel. Indeed, I am the the knight with a shovel who's been menacing the village. I I assure you, I have no, done no such. You're gonna use that shovel to bury innocent people? Your reign of terror ends here. This is Reese. So this character was actually developed from a tier that you could have bought back when Shovel Knight was in its um. Oh, what? I forgot the term now, but it's basically, you know, you can donate to help things get... Basically, it's like, it's not like Patreon. Kickstarter, that's it, they're a Kickstarter. So there was a, develop a tier called be a developer for a day, 
in which if you bought one of these developers, you could help build like a major character stage or boss fight. And so these are one of the boss fights that came from that tier. Now Reese here has magic scrolls and crystal boomerangs. So we gotta be careful with those boomerangs. I'm already taking a lot of damage. There we go. Do your worst, villain. Strike me down. But I'm no villain while fighting a common enemy. We, we are? Why didn't you say so? Wow, I feel like a fool now. Think nothing of it, friend. Knights are strongest when they work together. Yeah, Knight's Code, First Vow. Always help a person in need. Knock him down, Shovel Knight. And for that, we get some more gold and a music sheet. That clears out Reese. And since we cleared out the Explodatorium, we can now head to the Armor Outpost. My scouts saw your approach. And we know of your quest. This is the Armor Outpost. The brave are holed up here, deep in enemy territory. It's dangerous. Get equipped. We, la we languish like lovers while treasure night sails under the waves in this dreaded iron whale. This treachery scares all the fish in the sea. Do us a favor and frash them for me. Yar. Very sweet. Oh, that King Knight, he's so regal, such a refined fashion sense. But honestly, I'd rather be your queen. Oh, mm, okay then. Mm. Are you like Croaker? I'm so grumpy, I'm just not in a good mood. I wish someone could cheer me up. Mm, well, okay, I'll give it a shot. Uh, mm. Why would they just leave the catapult unattended? The operator is out to launch! No. Oh. Well, let's try one more. Have you heard the gastronomer is starting to cook with bullion? I tried some, but my soup was gold. No. This guy doesn't much care for puns unlike Croaker. So let's see what's up here. All right, we got these two individuals. This be the aerial anvil. We need an ar need an armor upgrade. If you need something forged, I'm your fella. <laughs> yes, we have upgrades. We have new armor. So as you can see, we have the stalwart plate already equipped. But you can get the final guard. Drop half as much gold when you fall in battle. The conjurer's coat. Sacrifice some protection for a higher magic limit and harvest magic from defeated foes. The Dynamo Mail. Perform two consecutive shovel drops to unleash a powerful charge slash. Mail of Momentum. Heavily plated to keep your footing when struck by enemies, but stopping may be a problem. And then the Ornate Plate. Flashy. Acrobatic. Useless! Now, there's a lot of good upgrades here, but I'm still going to save my money for a little bit. I would pick up the Dynamo Mail since that is my favorite. But basically, if you're looking for some good armor, I always think the Mail of Momentum and Dynamo Mail are pretty great. And the, the ornate plate's also cool, but it's only for vanity. Shovel Smith. That's a nice shovel blade you have there, friend, but I can improve it to unlock its true abilities. Alright, for here we have techniques. We have the charge handle. You can hold your attack to unleash a powerful charge slash. The Trench Blade, dig up a whole pile in one mighty motion. And the Drop Spark, slash to spark the ground when you're at full health. I love the Trench Blade, so we're actually going to pick that up right now. And with that, we can now dig up treasure piles in one fell swoop. Now, talk, I'm going to talk about some version differences here. In the PC version, this isn't available, but if you have the Nintendo Switch DS or uh, Wii U version, there is a Shovel Knight Amiibo in which you can get what is known as your Custom Knight. 
And what your custom knight is, is that you unlock certain relics, abilities, and stuff that aren't normally available to Shovel Knight itself. And these will level up and over time. So if you come here, you can actually customize your knight, change their armor color, change how they look, change their effects. It's all really cool. I wish I had access to that, but I don't have a Shovel Knight amiibo. I could try and grab one, but amiibos are hard to come by in my local area. But if we go this way... Horns the finest instruments, but they only really come to life in a duet. I do say, friend, why I haven't seen such a decadent airship since I sold mine, huh? You sold your airship. <laughs> if you drop down here, we get on top of this village for a music sheet. Now that's basically what we can do for the time being up here, but we can also go to this place and hit this sign for magic. But, hmm, put the phase locket. Now this is why I'm saying to save money. We have this hat shop. Ah, hats, my greatest passion. Nothing I enjoy more than a crisp snap of a well-tailored brim. Okay. <laughs> the peacock gent. With my vast riches, I could buy this whole store, but I forgot my wallet. No, oh, upstanding knights, can you part with a partly 1,000 gold? No. 1,000? That's not partly. Take it. Wow, thanks. I can't believe that worked. What do you mean? I... I he had his wallet, didn't he? We just got... Mm. What about you, Leo? I buy only the best, and for my latest purchase, unfortunately, I'm only 1,000 gold short. Uh, oh my, I always help my friends out whenever I need some cash. Excelsior, now that I have my purchase, I shall take my leave. At least it's unlike that peacock. Oh, such charming beret, if only I had the means to afford it. All I need is a mere thousand gold. I I'm seeing a pattern here. Hooray, this is just what I needed. Thank you, hero. Hark! <laughs> My precious hats. That's a lovely helmet. So lovely. So lovely. I must inquire, sir, about your curious collection. Travel lands far and wide I do. Searching, learning, teaching, collecting. All shapes, all sizes. Hats! Each one I wear grants me a new power, and your hat looks powerful indeed. Uh, intriguing, but I'm rather attached to my helmet. Yes, yes, about that. <laughs> this is Mr. Hats. This is another one of those developer for a day bosses. As you can see, he's wearing this army helmet that is giving him a long sword that gives him the ability to increase shields and make magic swords. Now he has his fancy hat as he sips on some tea and throws the cups and gets a pogo bounce. As you can see, he only has the two hats. Now, I actually really like the helmet because the sword looks really cool, but with that, Mr. Hats is down. For that, we get 5,000 gold. So we get the 3,000 back and the 2,000. Enough! I know what came... I know not what came over me, my hunger for hats to control your beautiful hat. It's a helmet. Oh, Righto, I knew that. Wear it's in good health, for now. Right, well, off I go then. So that's a little secret boss. So we got that out of the way, and we got 6,000 gold. You know what? Oh wait, what? There's Mr. Hats again. You know, with that 6,000 gold, I think that's enough to buy da the, the Dynamo Mail. So let's get ourselves some brand spanking new armor. 
And with that, we've basically expended our gold resources for now. But... Oh, bother. You found me. I'm so embarrassed. I promise I'll pester you no longer. Here's some gold for all the trouble. Oh. I, I didn't even know about that. Yeah, I guess if you talk to him again, he gives you a thousand golden leaves. But with that, we've done everything that we can in the armor outpost. Now, I know it's- a oh. Hmm. Yeah, we got time. Let's see who this burly character is. <laughs> I can't believe this. Trouble friend, have you lost your way? Bought the best gear, the slickest armor, the strongest rope. Uh, pardon, are you in need of help? The stuck-up order of no-quarter clowns have no idea what they're missing. Hey, you look like a knight. Shovel Knight at your service, but I'm not in league with. So I heard that if you beat a knight, you get to take their title, right? But please don't do something you'll regret. I don't want to. The great Boz Knight, like the sound of that, they'll have no choice but to accept me now. Come on, let's do this. This is Boz. It's another one of those be developer for a day bosses. Boz here has the best gear, the best rope, and some good makeup. As you can see with the Dynamo Mail, when we do downward strikes, we grow blue and have a powerful strike. Oh, okay, he, what a terrible night to have a curse. As you can see, he's kind of uh, reminiscent of a certain whip-wielding hero that some of you might be familiar with. Yep, this is another one of those bosses from the developer for a day tier. And with that, though, we have beaten Boz. No way. Not even my best moves could phase you. Well thought. If you can accept defeat like a true knight, you'll always have your dignity. <laughs> now they'll never let me join the order. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Oh, oh, buddy, buddy boy, big boy buddy, mm. poor guy. But with that, I think it's a good time to close out this episode. I'd like to thank you for joining me at this episode of Shovel Knight. In the next one, I think we're going to get some stuff out of the way and fight another member of the Order of Middle Quarter inside the Iron Whale is the lair of the Treasure Knight. I will see you all next time. That poor boy.